Cadet Second Lieutenant Hernandez. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Sure. My name is Gerardo Hernandez. I'm born in Colombia. I come from Venezuelan parents, and I lived most of my life in Mexico City. I came here to the Military Academy my freshman year, and now I'm a senior. I'm ready to graduate and go to college. Awesome, man. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your story um, relative to football and sports? Of course. Well, uh, it's been from a Hispanic family. I, I grew up playing soccer. I always played around in school since I was little. I always had a ball in my hands, and that's the main thing. But when I came here to MMA my freshman year, the first thing I thought about coming here to the United States and studying here, it was more of football because I started watching those movies where we had the football players and you have the the people involved in football and how they're the superstars and whatever. And I was young, so I believed that playing football was for me. So my freshman year I came in and uh, I started playing football. Uh, of course, it's very different from soccer. Uh, the fact that it's a contact sport made it very hard for me since I was a 5'10", 120 pound kid that on his first practice he had to go against a six foot four, 215 pound uh, defensive lineman that is now playing for Texas A&M actually. So it's, it, it was pretty interesting. It's hard, it was hard for me to make that transition from soccer to football, but I was committed to play football and I was ready to become a part of the football team here in Marine Military Academy. And I showed my skills not only as a runner, but as a kicker. And that made me the punter, the kick uh, kickoff kicker, and that made me the extra point kicker as well. And thanks to that, I've been able to, be, uh, to play football. Uh, at the varsity level here at the Marine Military Academy. And after four years, I became the captain. I became not only a punter, but a QB. I became a quarterback. Uh, I also played running back, wide receiver, and corner in the defensive positions. It's, it's very different for me now from how it was back in my freshman year. Now, I went from being the guy that is looking up to the captains, the guy that is wanting to play and never gets to play because he's not really that good, to being the guy that is in most of the plays and is being looked at by the rest of the team, by my teammates as the leader and they look up to me and they, they ask me what to do or how to do it things and it's my responsibility to teach them so it's it's amazing how I evolved from my freshman year to now my senior year and have people follow me as well as follow my fellow captains in the team it's been quite a ride and definitely the evolution from soccer. It helped me in my running skills and it helped me with my kicking skills, but I think my passion is in football. And even though I've only been playing this sport for now four years, I think it's truly an honor to be part of the Marine Military Academy Leathernecks and the I, this number, number one, I inherited actually from my original captain, Antonio Kiki Hubbard. He was the quarterback and he's a role model for me. He was fast, he was strong, and he was a great leader. And my goal is to be able to be somewhere near to him or get to his level someday. And hopefully go to college and play some college football. Thank you. Uh, and, and one more question. What would you say is probably the most challenging as well as the most rewarding part of playing football? The most challenging part, I would say, is having to get up the next day after the game. <laughs> no, no. But uh, for real, the, the hardest part, I think, 
is being able to accept that you make a mistake whenever you're out there in the field to be able to say, you know what, what I did was wrong and listen to the coaches and fix it. Because sometimes you don't really see the mistake, but you have to trust your coaches and you have to trust the people that are out there and they go through it every day and tell you how to do it. And they've been doing it for years. And I think that's the hardest part, but of course that comes with the most rewarding as well. The fact that you get to learn from, from the coaches, people that, like I said, they've been doing this for years. They know the ins and outs of everything. They, they, they played probably every single position out there in the field. The offensive coach, the head coach, the defensive coach. I mean, it, these people, even though my offensive coach this year, he's young, well, younger than the average coaches, he is very experienced. He played football himself, and I think it's very rewarding to be able to have a, an ex-football player teach you and give you his experience and give you his sight of how things work out there in the field. It's very, it's, it's very rewarding. It's very, it, it makes you feel like you're learning every day something new. It's, it's amazing. And you, uh, do you have any advice for somebody who maybe either is transitioning from soccer or wants to go into play football? What advice would you give to them? Of course. I mean, first of all, be ready to get hit. Don't be afraid. And of course, soccer is very different. And the most important thing out of uh, thing out of all is try not to get injured. Yes, go full speed. Yes, go hard, and try your best. But injuries can end a, a career in one second. So I would say just be careful with the injuries. Try your best. Make sure you listen to the coaches. And you, sh you should have no problems having a transition. All right. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you.